اهلا وسهلا بكم مرحبا today's lesson is going to be based on page 6 and on page 6 we have uh, two dialogues and another mini dialogues on page 7 let's deal with the the first dialogue which is on the right hand column of page 6 and it's between Bashir uh, and Mazin so Mazin and Bashir let's analyze that so Mazin and Bashir Mazin said good morning Sabahul Khair Sabah that's the morning Khair means goodness good morning Sabahul Noon response good morning now Noor means light Sabahul Khair Sabahul Noor how are you? كيف الحال؟ كيف is how. الحال literally mean a uh, condition. كيف الحال؟ But we translate that as how are you? كيف الحال؟ How are you? بخير and that's a neutral response. Neutral بخير good. الحمد لله. Praise be to God. So if you use بخير that's a neutral a girl. And a, and a boy can use بخيرين. There's no gender involved. But if you use something like طيب طيب a boy will say طيب and a girl will say طيب which means also fine. Then what is your, what's your name? What is your name? Masmuka. Ma is what? Ismo is a name, and then ki at the end, or ka, is an attached pronoun. That's the person we are speaking to. Masmuka, what's your name? If we're speaking to a girl, we say masmuki, what's your name? My name is Bashir. Ismi Bashir. Now, a speaker in Arabic is gender neutral. Uh, a boy will say ismi, my name is. A girl also will say, Ismi, my name is, in this case, the boy speaking, and he said, Ismi Bashir, my name is Bashir. Wahaulai, and these are, now, Haulai, which is the Ismul Ishara, meaning demonstrative pronoun, and is plural, and is specifically used only for human, regardless of the gender. Uh, human three or more. هؤلاء these are. وهؤلاء أصدقائي and these are my friends. أصدقاء that's the plural of uh, male friends. صديق a friend. أصدقاء friends as we learn in uh, when I was analyzing the vocabulary for you earlier on. من أين أنتم where are you from? Min Aina. Min is from. Aina is where. That's one of the interrogative particle. Ismu Ismul istifham. The things you use to ask question. Where? Min Aina Antum. Where are you from? This Antum. You are or you. So that's a plural. Three or more male. That's it. You say that to men. Or three or more, or boys, three or more. Men aina antum. We are going to contrast that when we are doing the second part of the uh, dialogue on page six, when it will be conversation between two girls. Men aina antum nahnu min Nigeria. We are from Nigeria. Now, nahnu, that means we are, and that is for uh, a speak, speaker. Two or more, nahnu we are, and also is a gender gender neutral. Nahnu we are min Nigeria. We are from Nigeria. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum. Welcome to you. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum. Now kum ending here, which is the attached pronoun, meaning we are speaking to three or more men or boys. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum. When we speak to uh, plural girls or women, we say bikunna. So bikum becomes bikunna. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum. 
ana sa'idum bilqa'ikum i am delighted or i'm i'm pleased to to meet you again look at the ending kum that's meaning we are speaking to three or more uh, male ana sa'idum bilqa'ikum wa nahnu as'ad and we are delighted wa nahnu as'ad uh to meet you too goodbye ma salama ma salama so ma as we learned previously ma means with salama means peace ma salama fi amanillah fi amanillah in god's protection god be with you fi amanillah in god's protection now let's do the second part of the dialogue on page 6 so on page 6 we have done the right hand column and which was between bashir and mazin two boys and the second part we we're going to do now is between basma and hamida two girls so let's do the analysis of the second half of page 6 Right. The first uh, bus message. Good evening. Masa ul khair. Masa ul khair. Previously, we learned sabah ul khair. Good morning. Here is good evening. Masa ul evening. Masa ul khair. Masa ul noor. Good evening. And we know that khair means goodness and noor means light. Masa ul khair. Masa ul noor. How are you? How are you? Kaifa that's a how. Seha literally mean health. It's like saying how is the health. So that's equivalent to how are you? Kaifa seha. Previously we learned kaifa alhal. It again means how are you? But literally means how is the condition. Here means how is the health كيف صحه الحمد لله طيبه طيبه a woman who say طيبه طيبه fine i'm good a man who say طيب fine الحمد لله praise be to god ما اسمك what's your name previously we learned ما اسمك when the question was uh, directed Uh, at a boy masmuka what's your name but here masmuki what's your name we are asking a girl ismi hamida my name is hamida now ismi as a speaker is a uh, gender neutral in arabic you would say ismi for a boy uh, or you a girl the same ismi my name is uh, in this case hamida my name is hamida wa haulai and these are remember that haulai these are is for three or more human plurals regardless whether we are speaking to three men or three women It's the same these are just as we said before ulaika those are it's also used for three or more human regardless of the gender so wa haulai these are sadiqati my friends and sadiqati is a plural and is a female yeah, it's a plural of sadiqatun sadiqati min aina so we say where where are you from so where are you from min aina min aina literally men is where aina um, men is from aina is where men aina and tunna where are you from here and tunna it is dhamir uh, munfasil the detached pronoun for you or you or all of you meaning three or more female so men aina and tunna for girl for boys we say men aina antum men aina 
anthem if we are asking a question uh, to us boys three or more but here three or more girls we say min aina antunna nahnu min sudan we are from sudan nahnu also is a detached pronoun damir munfasil and that is for jama is a plural in this case whether you are two as a speaker or hundred as a speaker you say nahnu regardless of the gender. Nahnu mina Sudan. We are from Sudan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to you all. Ahlan wa sahlan bikunna. Ahlan wa sahlan bikunna. When we were addressing this to, 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 to boys, we say, bikum, uh, bikum. But here, bikunna. Because we are speaking to a number of girls. Ahlan wa sahlan bikunna. Pleased to meet you. Ana, I am Sa'idatun. So a girl speaking, Ana Sa'idatun. If a boy is speaking, you say Ana Sa'idun without ta marbuta. But here, Ana Sa'idatun biliqa'ikum. Liqa is meeting. But ending kunna is indication this is uh, an attached pronoun that we are speaking to a group of girls. Ana sa'idatun bilika ikunna. I am pleased to meet you all. And the friends reply, wa nahnu asad. And we are delighted. Asad, we are delighted. Asad. Will, be, will remain the same. Wanahnu asat. Goodbye. Ma'as salama. Ila liqa. Fi amanillah. Ma'as salama. Goodbye. Which means go with peace. Ma'as salama. Fi amanillah. That means in God protection. Fi amanillah. In God protection. So that's the second half of the dialogue that we have, two dialogues we have on page six. Um, so the next, we, now we need to go to page seven and do this mini dialogue as well. Now, having uh, analyzed the two uh, dialogues on page six, one, uh, the first one was between Mazin and Bashir, two boys. The second one between Basma and Hamida, two girls. Let's analyze the uh, a very mini, mini uh, dialogue on page seven. And it's between Faisal and Khalid, both are boys. Let's have a look at what's going on here. So we have, where is your friend, O Khalid? Aina Sodiquka. Yeah, Khalid. We know Aina is where. And we know Sadiq is a friend, male friend, singular. And we know what Ka. And that's the attached pronoun to identify the person we're speaking to in front of us. And that is a boy. Aina Sadiq Ka. Where is your friend? Oh, Khalid. Yeah, Khalid. Response. Hua Filbait. He is at home. Who is he is? If you want to say she is, you say here. Who fil bait? He is at home. Fi means in or at. And then bait is house or home. Who fil bait? Kaifa haluhu. Kaifa is how. We learned that one we said before. كيف الحال how are you or oh, how is the health how is the condition كيف الصحة how is the health you can say كيف حالك how are you if you address directly to a single person male or كيف حالك how are you to a female here we are saying كيف حاله how is he how is he كيف حاله 
This who is what you're referring to him. How is he? If you want to say how is she, you say Kaifa Halu her as previously explained. Hua Maridun. She is unwell. Hua he is. If you want to say she, you say here Maridotun. So Hua he is Maridun unwell. If you want to say she is unwell, we will say here maridotun. Salamatahu. Salamatahu. I hope he gets better soon. Equivalent of I wish him a speedy recovery. Salamatahu. If you are wishing that for a girl, you will say salamataha. So the who becomes ha, salamata ha. Responds, Allahu yusallimuka or yusallimuki. May God protect you. So they pray for you as well. May God protect you. Allahu yusallimuka. So that is the mini dialogue on page seven. Explain, analyze, and read for you. So. Your job now is to do revision, a thorough revision of page 6 and page 7 for me. And this is your vocabulary list, vocabulary box. Please learn that. It's now accumulating. Now, before you have, uh, how many vocabulary lists do you have now? Let's have a look. On page 3, you have a vocabulary box. On page 4, you have a vocabulary box. And on page 7, another vocabulary box. Keep learning. Keep going. You will get there. You're doing a fantastic job just by you joining my class. I'll do my best to make sure by the time we reach uh, book 7, you will be fluent in Arabic, just learning vocabulary and pay attention to the, uh, the grammar, how the Arabic is composed and organized. You will get there. If you have any query or any question, any comments, please write them below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Well done. Ma'assalama. إلى اللقاء في أمان الله